Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to the controller tab and over here select the option which says disable steam input. And now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try to enable steam input and then you can check. For many players, disabling Steam input has worked, so you can try this. Now, if you have the game on eApp, in that case, you can click on Add a Game over here, and then click on Add a Non-Steam Game, and then go to the Game Installation folder. Now, if you have the game over here, you can select the game over here, then click on Add. If you don't have the game over here, in that case, you can click on Browse, and then go to the Game Installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, so if the game is installed in C Drive, you can open C Drive, if the game is in program files, maybe EA games, you will find the game over here. Open the game folder and then select the game exe file. I don't have the game in EA app. I'd, I have the game on Steam. So once you find the game, you can just select the game. This is just an example. I'm showing you with different game. Just select the game and then click on add selected program. And once the game is added, now you can launch the game from Steam and then check. Still not working. Now, at the top right here, you can see enter big picture mode icon. You can click on enter big picture mode icon. Once Steam is in big picture mode, now you can launch the game and then check. Also, if nothing is working, you can try wired connection. So instead of wireless, you can connect your controller using the USB cable and then you can launch the game and then check. Also update your Xbox controller or PlayStation controller. So if you have Xbox controller you can open Microsoft Store in the search box you can type in Xbox accessories app and then you can click on Xbox accessories app and then you can open Xbox accessories app connect your controller using the USB cable make sure that you connect your cable using the USB cable now once you connect the cable using the USB cable you will see three dots click on the three dots and then you will see update options. So update your controller using Xbox Accessories app. Now, if you're using PlayStation controller, you can open PlayStation Accessories app and then connect your controller. And then if there is any update, you will see the update option and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So now for PlayStation controller user, you can even use this DS4, DS4 windows application if you have playstation controller you can just uh, download this playstation ds4 windows app and then configure your controller and then launch the game and then check so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel